having given the tank a bit of a clear out today, I should say hello and welcome again. I thought I'd do it as a bit of bubble scrubbing during the day so I could actually just double check on what's happening because at the moment it's three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I just wanted to see having cleaned everything out, so much detritus in there, still the uh, diatoms floating around. I thought I'd do a little bit of bubble scrubbing and see what uh, what would happen. And my word, although I'd missed most of it now, the, uh, the frog spawn there was uh, at the top, which you probably can't quite see from here, so I've got it a little bit further down on this one here that's sorting himself out. The amount of mucus that the frog spawn was throwing up into the column was amazing and I'm just focusing on the one below it now which has also started to do it. The two hammer corals as well seemed uh, very glad of the opportunity to shed some mucus and indeed one of them still is bit by bit but not as much as potentially that one on the right. The gonioporas don't seem to have um, done anything at all but if the frog spawn gets the benefit from it and the hammer corals get the benefit from it then uh, I'm very glad that I'm doing it every time, every night or three times a week. At the moment one and a half hours rather than two but if I put more corals in there, another frog spawn, torch, something like that, I probably will up it to the two hours. So very very quick ones just to show the bubble scrubbing during the day so you can see the actual bubbles going around the system. I tried turning off the individual recycling or recirculation pumps, didn't seem to make any difference at all quite frankly, it wasn't helping um, draw anything out through the weir, so I put them back on, but it was just so good to see within a few seconds, and I mean within a few seconds of the bubbles touching the, the frog spawn, it started to shed, there's still bits of it coming off even now, shed some of its um, mucus, so it's uh, He's had a good shower, shall we say. <laughs> this was a very, very brief one. Today I've just taken the opportunity of... Um, I wanted to try something out that I can't remember for the life of me which YouTuber it is that does this. But I thought it was a fabulous idea. And again, with my wish list or my the list... That I, well, it is a wish list, I suppose, because I still haven't got everything. Um, but I wanted to again think of the future because I'm not getting any younger and I want this to be a good 10-15 years before I'm sitting in a chair dribbling and unable to do anything and one of the things that he came up with or noted and showed was when cleaning out the aquarium not not the gravel cleaner so much but everything else use a canister filter so you put the output into in my case to start with the display and the inlet also in the display and you can siphon detritus out to your heart's content because you're not losing any water and then I did that for a while to get rid of some of the diatoms even though they're still annoyingly there but that's all part of this cycle and it's part of the adventure I then turned the canister filter off and popped it down into the sump and just gave the sump um, a bit of a, a clean over as well not to be fair at the end of the day there was virtually nothing in the filters when I, when I did um, wash them out but at least some of these diatoms are out of the system completely. I then washed the filter socks and the wadding that I've got in them. I cleaned the Red Sea Reef for 600 cup, skimmer cup, and reset the skimmer. And also the wadding that I had underneath the... If I can show that now. Let's see. The wadding underneath the charcoal. Instead of it being right underneath as a bubble trap, I'm trying to make it a bubble trap, uh, I put it back to where I had it originally. So there we go. Let's just show this frog spawn, just in case he does do any more. Probably won't. I think he's completely clean now. In fact, I think he's opening up a little bit more. Lovely. Um, yeah, very good. So I'll leave that running probably for another 10, 15 minutes or so, if that because it's been running now for about 20 minutes. It's going to be running again tonight, bubbling for another hour and a half. Um, but who knows, I may change it over to the daytime rather than the night time. All options are open at the moment. But I definitely want to continue with it, now seeing as well the amount of detritus coming off of the 
uh, the corals themselves, their, their mucus, their protection, giving them uh, a wash, if you like. Um, I am very glad that I'm doing it. But again, I'm also glad that I got the canister filter so that I could actually spend time trying to just clean any little bits and pieces of detritus that have settled onto the rocks because there are so many nooks and crannies in this Marco rock. It's amazing stuff. I am very pleased with it. Um, it was just nice to give it a little bit of a brush over to start with. I bought a bottle brush and that um, seemed to help. I was able to loosen up a lot of stuff that was just sitting there. And uh, I say a lot of stuff. There wasn't a massive amount to start with, but it was just, yes, there was some. So it's like giving it a bit of a dusting. And the bubble scrubbing is, uh, again, just to get the last bits of detritus out if possible to make it as crystal clear as I can. And then I can just watch the, uh, the diatoms carry on growing. <laughs> Again, just a, a short one. Thank you very much if you have watched this far. I hope it's informative. And again, as I said before, if you've got any positive comments to make, I'd be happy to hear them, particularly if it's your own experiences. That is so, so important. See you on the next one.